Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, A Fountain Pen Awakening. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're doing super well. Today I have received a parcel. Yay! And um, I am sitting outside by the pool because this is the only place where I get some sun. Temperatures have dropped here in Queensland over the past couple of days, so it's a bit chilly. And um, I mean, not really chilly, but chilly for our standards. So super excited because it's a new pen day and I've been really, really good with my pens. Um, I've only been purchasing sample inks and stuff like that. And if I do purchase pens, I'm just trying to purchase some that are kind of like um, not as expensive. I've got my cup of coffee here. And so when I was uh, trailing for some inks on the Desk Bandits website, I came across this pen and because I'm really enjoying my Moon Man and I'm really enjoying the nibs of the Moon Man, I have two now. One's my just my normal Moon Man branded Moon Man, which is the S5 that came with three nibs. And then I bought myself the Little Fat Man, which is you know, a pocket pen. It's that round one. And um, that came with two nibs. It came with a fine nib and the food and nib. Now, that fine nib, I ended up putting on my skull kill and it writes really, really, oh, hello, this is Willow, she's come to visit us. Hello, Willow. And by the way, Willow's still with us, so that's a miracle. And um, yeah, so that skull kill is working really well with a fine nib. So long story short, I was like, you know what, I, I've, I've seen a moon man, it's only $42 Australian and, and I haven't got that type of moon man. So here goes. Da, 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 da. I will show you. Okay. You got your little Tim Tear. Got <clears throat> I've bought two inks to go with it. I'll we'll talk about that in a mini. I've got um so this is thank you so much, Kate. <laughs> Happy writing writings inking. And this is um Taranishi Classic Burgundy. Oh, that's the colour that they've written this little note on the um invoice for me. Okay, that's nice. And how cool is this packaging? This is so cool. I mean, you know, like Moon Man. Honestly, guys, look at this. The packaging is amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, this is even more better than I thought it would look, than it looked like on the, um. okay, why isn't that not coming out? Ah, there we go. So, nice little boxy-woxy, nothing under there. See? I'm not a purple person, but this pen um, came in this color or a green color. And because I've already got like a, my skull kill, which has got those green and teal swirly whirlies through it, I thought I'd go, but this, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got all these swirl sparklies in there. Oh, really nice. Um, and it's got the black finials and this gold trim and I got this in a fine I really enjoy the nibs of the moon man's I think they're absolutely amazing and um, yeah so I thought you know I'll get myself this pen. very um, very cool <sighs> how cool is this sleeve and then I've just got myself uh, some dot grids my river 50 sheets just to do you know to use for writing and swatchings and things like that and then the two inks that I got to try out with this pen are Sailor Shikiori Harahara and um, Sailor Yokozura I thought I'd sort of try out some Sailor inks I've only kind of had a couple so I wanted to sort of try those out and um, yeah happy writings Okay, my lovelies, here I am set up for success. Now, um, these are all my goodies. Um, little Tim Tam, the desk bandit always sends you a little Tim Tam, which is kind of like a chocolate cookie. This is my lovely, beautiful new pen. This is the beautiful sleeve that it comes in. And this is the model here. So it is the M600S Dream Purple in a fine. And I'm just loving this packaging. Yeah, so as I was saying before, this Moon Man is like 
above and beyond i always remain um gobsmacked that something you know that is not as um expensive you know um the quality it's amazing and my little fat man obviously used to be moon man now it's rebranded to mahjong but yeah i just think they're absolutely wonderful performing pens now for a size comparison let me just get these little inkies out the way um i've grabbed oh this is kind of my paper that came in the um package as i was saying uh, before just to show you that is my Naval Arch Style Kill, and it's very kind of similar. But that green, this is a sort of teal green with grey swirls in it. This is a piston filling one. So I didn't want to kind of get the same one. Oh, okay, so we're going to roll, are we? We're going to roll. Rock and rolling. Yeah, I think this kind of is a little bit smaller. Now these both take um, a size six nib. So this is a size six fine that came off my little fat man. So that's a size six nib too. If I want to sort of align it with a Lamy All Star, a Pilot Matte and a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, here we go. And if we want to uncap them, just to see, I've got my little stopper there because we're rolling downhill. Now, as I said before, I'm not really purple girl, but I can deal with that purple because it's a really nice purple and it's like got silver shimmer in it. So as we can see here, it does correspond to Alami All Star and then the other pens are a little bit shorter just remembering that this is a size six nib on this pen so i welcome this little new pen into my collection and it's really really lovely in my hand it does come with its converter in there so this is not like a a knob down the bottom so it's not a piston filling mechanism at all oh, i was just sort of seeing it's kind of see-through in the in the light i oh, see it's got moon man around there moon man so it's got a nice thicker grip section there and this is the nib now it's not a gold nib it's just a gold plated nib or you know just a gold looking nib this is a steel nib it does post but it makes it back heavy for me and too long yeah and then it's got this sort of clip not too bad it reminds me of a parker pen clip with that kind of arrow and it's got these gold details cute little pen and now i'm undecided on what to ink it up with so as i was showing before i've got these two inks which i'm going to do a quick swatching of and then i can decide what i want to ink her up in all right my lovely so i've got my ira utsushi dip pen i've got my trusty little paintbrush and i've got my little eyedropper so we can do some happy day swatchings and i've got my little inks so the inks that i have here are the sailor yozakura or yozakura yoza yozakura <laughs> probably butchering it and then the sailor shikiori harahara so i'm gonna start off with the yozakura and I'm just going to grab a little beautiful looking kind of dusky purple it is, isn't it? Like it's a plum, a plum colour. You know that sort of colour when you get the plum juice? Oh, I like that. That's super nice, isn't it? just dab this little 
inky splat here. Inky splats. I went everywhere. Okay. Am I in frame? Okie dokie, so let me just dip this. And also because I'm kind of outside at the moment and I've got the light slanting, the sunlight slanting in from the sides, you'll have to excuse my lighting situation because I'm half in light, half in shadow. So, and this is a, a medium nib. This is the Pilot um, Ira Utsushi and it's a medium nib. Sailor. And it is your Beautiful. Oh, I really like this, guys. Just dipping this again. Haven't dipped it enough, have I? And that it shows here there's a wave line. You should never picks up enough ink. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Beautiful. I'm just going to dip it right down. See if it holds a little bit more ink. That's better. Okay. Sailor. I mean, that, not that there's any line variation being a medium nib but you know it's just fun to see but I really love this color so the second one we're going to be swatching today is the sailor shikiori harahara now this one I saw on Jane's um, YouTube channel so JP pen and ink and um, she was watching it the other day and I thought it was quite beautiful. Um, so I thought, oh, you know what? I'll get a sample of it and see. Just for the simple fact that I do have like a bottle of um, sweet fig, which is kind of like a purpley uh, black color. So I don't want to kind of buy myself something that is similar, if that makes sense. Oh, it is very similar, isn't it? I just recap it because I'm in the sunshine. I don't want it to sort of dry out. Yeah, and then I've also got Ferris wheel press. I've got a little, you know, like one of those charger sets, a little tiny, you know, glass thingy of ice scrape pop, which is very similar. So I don't want to kind of double up on same, same ink. So this is a really great thing about getting samples is to, you know, you can always kind of like check out the chicken and see oh yeah that's similar i've got something similar to that i mean if it's just i've got samples it's not a problem but when i've actually bought a bottle you know i don't want to like double up because then when you actually ink them up they all pretty much look the same if that makes sense but at the moment yeah they're looking quite similar mm. just right in i'm gonna dip this right in right down to the bottom right down to the bottom okay let's see if that worked <laughs> no what worked is I got it everywhere but on the tip. Okay, so this is on that side now. So Sailor. And this is a Shikiori. And it is Hara. Hara. Hmm, it seems to be a bit darker in the writing sample. And you know what gives me the irrit is this thing is all the way around so I can't see where I'm dipping my pen in <laughs> because it just hides it hides the line. Harder, harder. I'm not, I'm not winning with my ink swatching today, am I? So let's just do some little swirly wellies and some hearts. Okay, so it's definitely different in the writing sample. It's darker. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this dip pen. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong with this dip pen. Some people can write with it forever. I just, I think my glass dip pen is the one that kind of tends to hold the ink a lot better. And um, it writes more, but it's still a little bit scratchy. And the other one that I bought from Amazon that fell apart, I still haven't fixed that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Amazing. So definitely a darker purple. I might 
kind of like the yozakura yozakura in it this kind of um can you see how that's kind of in the in the writing sample it's darker and that's lighter and if you kind of put the pen i mean both will work perfectly well in it you know like any purple ink will work really well in here but i think that i might put the darker ink with it just because i've got viola from robert oster that is quite similar to that and I've got that inked up in um, my Twisby. That might be more interesting. And I also have my Sweet Fig inked up in something. Anywho, enough talking, more action. So I'm going to ink this pen up now. And I'm going to ink it up with a Sailor Shikiori. Right, so before inking my pen up, I've just waited for these inks to dry up a bit. And what I've done is I've done a bit of a writing sample with Robert Oster's Viola just to compare those two. And then I did a writing sample of the Sweet Fig, um, the Van Diemen's ink. And even though they are the same, they are different. This has got a lot more blue to it. This has got a lot more red to it. And this one's got a little bit more pink to it. And this has got a little bit more blue to it. Even though they're both light, this kind of tends to look a little bit more pinky. And the viola's got a little bit more, oops, viola um you know blue in it and same with this this is kind of like a different sort of it's a dusky purple as opposed to this has got oh sorry that's got a lot of red through it so it looks more like a burgundy purple and this looks like more like a bluey purple oh shite bam, bam. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see how this little beauty writes. So this is... Moon Man 600S. It's in Dream Purple. And it is a fine... It's a number six nib and it writes really well. There is some shading with this ink. It's actually a really, really lovely, dusty, dusky purple. I really like it. With Chikiori Hara Hara. Beautiful. Beautiful swirly whirlies. Look at that. Shimmering sheening. And I really like the gold accents too. Yeah, so I'm glad I got that because, because the other one was very similar to this. So as you can see, this has got some silver sheen in it as well. Swirly whirlies. So it's got greys, blacks, teals. And if I'd got that in the green, then they would have been really super similar. And they've got kind of like the different accents and stuff. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy that in my collection and then just for comparison i want to just do a quick writing sample with this viola just to see so this is the robert oster viola to see this is in my twisby iris it's got the fine nib and this is a size six nib as well and yeah it is much much lighter Yay! It's great to be able to sort of like film, you know, in actual sunlight because you get to see the sparkly wacklies of these pens. So there you have it, guys. My new pen, my Moon Man 600S in a fine nib. Dream purple, as they call it. 
happy face. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me, for liking, for subscribing, and for supporting my fountain pen journey. Until my next one, have a great one. Tell me.